Hi, Tamara here. Welcome to my channel. We are going to have some fun today. Fun with empties. Empties are some of my very favorite videos to watch and I love sharing my empties with you. And the reason I love empties videos is because somebody has liked a product enough to use it up completely and have a fully formed opinion. I have a lot of empties. I have hair care, I have nutritional supplements, I have skin care, and I have quite a bit of makeup. And this is way too much to go through in one video. So I am planning to break this up into two videos. And in today's video, we will be covering nutritional supplements because especially during this time of pandemic, there is nothing more important than our health. And we're going to end it with some fun cosmetics. I have several to share with you. So if that sounds interesting to you, I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. That really does help support my channel. It really does help support my channel by encouraging YouTube to share my video with other people who might enjoy my videos. So without further ado, Let's get to my empties. So like I said, I am going to be starting with nutritional supplements. Again, nothing is more important than our health and it's really important that we do everything we possibly can to take the best care of ourselves. Now, I am not a believer in mega vitamins. I believe that if you have a very healthy diet, you get most of what you need from your diet. Lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, lots of grains. But I do think there are certain nutrients that a little added insurance is a good idea. And some nutrients are just a little bit more difficult to get from your diet. So, you know, disclaimer, I'm not a doctor and I'm not giving medical advice. But what I am going to do is share with you some of the supplements that I have used up and that I find important as part of my supplement routine. So number one is a tried and true favorite that I've been using for a good two years. And you will probably see this product show up in repeated empties videos. This is my Sprout Living Epic Protein Powder. It is vegan, organic, plant-based. I have been doing green smoothies for about 10 years. And over the years, I have tried many different protein powders, whey-based protein, soy based protein and I discovered this epic protein about two years ago and I absolutely love it. Let me read some of the highlights to you. It has 26 grams of protein and five grams of fiber, which you do not often find in a protein powder. The ingredients are yellow pea, sunflower seed, pumpkin seed, sacha inchi, cranberry seed, and Jerusalem artichoke. The sacha inchi is a, has been cultivated for thousands of years in the highlands of Peru for its amazing nutrients, including omega fatty acids and dietary fiber, cranberry seeds, antioxidant rich superfood. Jerusalem artichoke is a root vegetable rich in fiber, minerals, and inulin, a renowned prebiotic that helps feed beneficial digestive bacteria. So not only are we getting excellent high quality vegan protein, we are getting antioxidants and we are getting prebiotics and we are getting fiber. It's not that I feel like my diet is lacking protein, but when I do my green smoothies, I like to balance the carbohydrates from the fruits and vegetables with some protein. This adds a really lovely, creamy, rich flavor to my green smoothies that I absolutely love. This is absolutely a favorite and this is absolutely a repurchase over and over again and I highly recommend it. All of the products that I'm talking about today will be linked in the description box below in case you wanna do some further research. A new product that I just discovered and I used up my first box and yes it is going to be a repurchase 
is a vitamin C supplement. You know, vitamin C is a very important antioxidant. It's very important to support our immunity. And it is a very important ingredient if we want to build and promote and protect our collagen. The thing with vitamin C is that it is water soluble and it typically will just sort of run through our system, right? But there is a new kind of vitamin C that I recently learned about. It's called liposomal vitamin C. And I first learned about this when I saw a video that my friend Claudia, who has the channel Claudia Glows, and she did a video on liposomal vitamin C, and I had never heard of it. And you know, I thought I was pretty up on nutrition. So she did this great video and I will link her channel and her video below. Claudia knows so much about health and nutrition and uh, if you don't know her, I would definitely check her channel and her video below. Anyway, so that really sparked my interest. And then I heard Penn from Penn Smith Skincare talk about this product. So I knew I had to buy it. This is the Live On Lipospheric Liposomal Vitamin C. How liposomal vitamin C works is it is encapsulated, okay, the vitamin C is encapsulated with liposomes made from essential phospholipids, which protect the vitamin C from destruction in the digestive system. So within minutes of taking lipospheric vitamin C, the vitamin C is transported into your bloodstream and into your cells and not just washing through your gastrointestinal system. So I have used up my first box and I love it. And it comes in this little packet. It's actually sort of like a gel. You simply empty this packet into this cute little shot glass that they send, add a little tea or water or juice and down it goes. Very easy. It's a very mild flavor and I'm absolutely loving it. I just feel like it's giving me added insurance for my collagen production, but even more importantly, my immunity and antioxidant protection. So that is a new favorite. What you have seen in most of my empties videos so far is my mega food, mega flora, probiotic. I feel very strongly about the importance of probiotics that help support a healthy microbiome in our gut. And we know that that helps support our immunity. So this has 13 different active live bacteria in it. It has 20 billion bacteria. I don't know how they count those. So these are living bacteria. It is found in the refrigerated section at my local co-op. I do not recommend just buying a pharmaceutical style probiotic off the shelf at Target or CVS because those are not living bacteria. And we really want to help, you know, put living bacteria into our gastrointestinal system. I have a little story about this. Several years ago, I was at work in the summertime. I had brought to work a chicken salad sandwich and my lunch got delayed and my chicken salad sandwich was not appropriately refrigerated. And around two o'clock in the afternoon came and I was absolutely starving. And I looked at that chicken salad sandwich and I thought, oh, hell, I don't know. It's been out of the refrigerator for a while and it's a really hot day. Oh, it's probably fine. So I took a few bites, maybe three or four bites. And then I thought, oh, I don't dare eat this. I was afraid it, was, it had gone off. Well, within a few hours, yes, in fact, my stomach was like rolling around and I knew that the sandwich had gone bad and I had eaten several bites. I didn't get super sick. Luckily, I didn't eat the whole sandwich. No nausea, no vomiting, but did I ever have some major gastrointestinal issues, if you know what I mean? So I thought, well, you know, it's just going to wash through my system. I'll feel better tomorrow. Didn't feel better tomorrow. Day two, still. Day three, I developed these red raw sores in the corners of my mouth. My system was so acidic. 
so it had been several days and I thought I need to do something and then I thought probiotics I went to the store and I bought some probiotics I don't know what brand but it was the live active probiotics that you get in the refrigerated section and within a few hours of taking one probiotic I noticed an improvement that evening I took a second dose of the probiotic by the next morning my stomach was completely back to normal and those red raw sores in the corners of my mouth were completely eliminated the recovery from that food poisoning was so dramatic with just a couple of doses of probiotics ever since then I have taken probiotics because I wonder if I had been taking probiotics would I even have gotten sick in the first place would the healthy bacteria have fought off the bad bacteria and prevented that little bout of you know food poisoning that I did have anyway I am a believer in probiotics these are part of my routine on a daily basis Yes, prebiotics and probiotic foods are very important to keep in your diet, but this is just added nutrition. Okay. And then my last supplement that I'm going to talk about is a dynamic duo. Vitamin D3 combined with vitamin K2. Okay. So anytime we talk about sunscreen, there's a lot of conversation about vitamin D. Yes, our bodies can synthesize vitamin D from the sun. The problem is I live in Minnesota and for about eight months out of the year I have virtually no sun exposure and even if I do as we get older we know that our body's ability to synthesize vitamin D decreases and if you have darker skin more melanin in your skin your ability to synthesize vitamin D also is lower. Bottom line, yes, some sun exposure is very healthy. I do get outside on a daily basis, my arms, my legs, you know, I do get sun exposure, not on my face, minimal on my body, but I do get sun exposure. But most people are low in vitamin D, sun exposure or not. Case in point, my aunt who's in her 70s lives in Ojai, California, year round sun. She's low in vitamin D. Bottom line, most of us are low in vitamin D, which can impair our immunity. So I was tested for vitamin D many years ago. I was low. My physician did put me on vitamin D, but he also put me on K2. Here's the deal. Vitamin D3 helps transport the calcium from your gastrointestinal system into your bloodstream. Vitamin K2 helps transport the calcium from your bloodstream to where it's supposed to go in your bones, cartilage, and teeth. And vitamin K2 helps keep the calcium out of where we do not want it building up. We do not want calcium deposits in our heart. We do not want calcium deposits in our arteries or our kidneys. So again, the dana this dynamic duo of vitamin D3 and K2 helps support immunity, it helps support our bone health, and it helps support our heart health. So those are the nutritional supplements that I have empty. I do have a couple of additional nutritional supplements that I do take, but this is an empties video. But I also take coenzyme Q10 and fish oil. I typically do not take a multivitamin, again, I really believe that a very healthy, well-balanced diet, you know, provides me with most of the nutrition I need and I just take a few of these extra supplements as sort of added insurance. Okay. Those are my nutritional supplements. Now let's get to the fun part, cosmetics. I actually have a few. Okay, my first cosmetic empty. I just used the last pump of it up yesterday. This is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is a gorgeous foundation. Beautiful on the skin. A light medium coverage, radiant finish, 
never looks cakey, doesn't settle into lines or wrinkles. I absolutely love it. You know, I did a foundation, uh, I did a foundation inventory and ranking video a couple of months ago. And at that time, I realized I was saving my Giorgio Armani for special occasions because it was so very expensive. And I thought, wow, this foundation is two or three years old now. I really need to use it up. So I have been using this consistently for the past couple of months and I have enjoyed every, every single time I use it. I, you just can't go wrong. It's gone now. Will I repurchase it? Someday, but it is very, very, very expensive. This is luxury. You know, there's drugstore, there's high end, and then there's luxury. And the Giorgio Armani is luxury. If you want to treat yourself and if you want a beautiful foundation that sits beautifully on mature, dry skin, give it a try. I probably will repurchase it someday. Um, but for now, I have other foundations that I am needing to use up okay my second cosmetic empty is my l'oreal voluminous mascara this has been a favorite for many many years it is an excellent drugstore mascara i absolutely love it i always use it with the l'oreal voluminous lash primer beautiful length beautiful volume doesn't smudge it's excellent but when I ran out of this, I came across a Lancome Monsieur Big Mini that I had in the back of a drawer. And so I have been using that. Oh my gosh, I love that Lancome. I love the Lancome Monsieur Big. I have tried many high-end, I have tried many high-end mascaras that I was not impressed with. I've tried many from Benefit, the Bad Girl Bang, not impressed. Um, it Cosmetics didn't knock my socks off. Even Hourglass, and you know I'm a huge fan of Hourglass. I tried the Hourglass Mini Mascara, didn't love it. The, my very favorite high-end mascara is Lancome Monsieur Big. So very recently I placed a Sephora order for the Welcome Back sale, and I needed to get a little bit higher. So I did order a Monsieur Big, and it is coming, and I'm excited about it, but the L'Oreal Voluminous will always be part of my makeup inventory. And if I just want a little extra, you know, special mascara, a little extra volume, a little extra thickness, the Lancome Monsieur Big is just enough better than this that it is worth it to me to have that also in my inventory. They're both excellent. Okay. Another drugstore favorite, and this is empty, and I absolutely have to go to Target today and buy it because I'm getting the last little bit of it out. This is my CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. This is a brow gel. It is thickening, it has a tint, and it really holds my brows in place. I absolutely love this. It has, this has 100% replaced my Benefit Gimme Brow that I had been using for many years. I discovered this when I heard Hannah Louise Poston talking about it. The Benefit Gimme Brow is about $20. The CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow is about $6. And I actually like the CoverGirl better than the Gimme Brow. So this is a great find and it absolutely has a permanent place in my makeup inventory. Just a couple more products and then we are done. You will not be surprised to see my L'Oreal Color Riche Shine lipstick in the color Varnished Rosewood. As I have said many times before, it is my lips but better. There it is. It lives in my purse. I have gone through many of these over the past few years. It is sort of a slightly sheer, slightly glossy, very moisturizing formula that feels wonderful on the lip. It is a favorite and you can see it there. Recently Revlon also came out with a new shine type formula very similar to the L'Oreal. So it's the Revlon Super Lustrous Shine Formula and I purchased this one in Rum Raisin and this is also another My Lips But Better Lives In My Purse formula. And you can see there is the L'Oreal. It's slightly cooler. 
and plumber, plumier. And there is the Revlon, and that is slightly warmer. So today I have the Revlon on. They both live in my purse, but this L'Oreal is a tried and true favorite. I use it alone. I use it over lip liner. I use it over different lipsticks. Today, however, I am wearing the Revlon Rum Raisin. Two more things. Can you call a sponge an empty? Okay. This is my L'Oreal makeup sponge. It is my favorite. It has been my favorite sponge so far. I have always been a sponge girl for applying and blending foundation, cream blush, cream bronzer, that type of thing. But when I got my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush, this is my new favorite. It is so soft and it is perfect for applying and blending foundation. However, I still really like to do a final sort of press in with the sponge. After I have applied and blended with the brush, I like to just go over my face with a sponge and make sure it is seamless with the skin. What has replaced my L'Oreal sponge is my e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. Now they call this a concealer sponge, but you can see it's dirty. When you get it wet, it is plenty big enough to use as a foundation sponge. And I absolutely love this sponge. It is so soft and bouncy. This, this e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge has definitely replaced my L'Oreal sponge. So I'm not gonna be repurchasing my L'Oreal sponge and that is a first because I have been repurchasing this for the last couple of years because my new combination of my BK Beauty 101 foundation brush with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer sponge is holy grail for applying blending foundation. Last item, powder. Now. I have long been powder phobic. Most powders look horrible on my 60 year old dry mature skin. I tried the Laura Mercier translucent powder that everybody loves and it looked awful on me. Luckily I bought a mini and so I didn't waste a ton of money. I tried the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores that everybody loves so much. Could not get that to work. So I purchased a year and a half ago, the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder in a mini, and I absolutely loved it. it. It is not matte, but it is not overly glowy. It just blurs your imperfections, sets your makeup, but it doesn't get rid of the glow. It is, it's magic. I absolutely love it. So I purchased, I went through the mini, I purchased the full size and toward the end of last summer I looked like I was running out so I purchased another one last fall at the Sephora sale. Then throughout the winter I found I did not use this because over the winter what I find for powder I like the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Finishing Powder which is lighter than this. And so in the winter, I use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Finishing Powder. And in the summer, when I need just a little bit extra setting power, um, I have been really loving the Hourglass Translucent Veil. So I finally used this up and I went into my brand new Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And it has this little H, I don't know if you can see that. So what I do, is, you know, do the powder like that. You get your little bit in there. I take my BK Beauty powder brush, dip it in there, right? I like to work the powder into, into the brush. And I just press it over the skin. Never looks powdery, never looks cakey gives a beautiful, beautiful glow to the skin without being too glowy. I love it. I love Hourglass powders, period. I love their translucent powder. I love their finishing powder. I love their blush. I love their bronzer. Hourglass can do no wrong as far as powders go in my book.
Okay. I think we got through makeup. Okay, one last thing. I know you've heard me talk about this over and over, but this is part of my makeup routine. And my Lumify eye drops is my very first step in my makeup routine every morning. Makes my eyes bright and white and awake and refreshed and it is magic and I love it and it is a permanent part of my routine. Okay. So that's it, we did it. Got through my empties, part one. Empties skincare will be coming up in my video next Sunday. Anyway, thank you so much for the time that you have spent with me today. I really appreciate it. And I would love to hear about your empties, your favorites, your recommendations. One of my favorite parts of YouTube is the sharing and the comments and the engagement that goes on in the comments section. With that being said, please, please take extra good care of yourself so that you can stay safe and healthy. Have a wonderful Sunday and have a wonderful week. Thanks. Bye. Because she is a, she is, knows. One, two, three. Let's do that. Let's do that. And helps keep the vitamin and vitamin um, K. Okay, did I already say, and you simply empty the packet into this, well, into this cute little shot glass that they sent. Okay, the sun is coming in now. Sun is changing, sun is changing. As I have said, oh, it's so empty I can hardly even, so empty I can hardly even, I love both of them, but I go through these L'Oreal every, I, you know, I just use it so often. I, I use it alone.